Welcome to this uh, lecture about how to create plurals in English. This will be in both Swedish and English. Countable nouns uh, can be in both in can be in both singular and plural, and s is the most common plural. And then obviously you add uh, create plural by adding s, as in dogs, houses, and dollars. Words that end with s, z, x, ch, and ch. Create plural by adding es, as in buses, quizzes, boxes, and so on. Words that end with Y create plural by changing to IES as in factory, factories, ladies and ladies. Uh, however, if you have vowel and uh, plus Y, you add only S as in days, boys and guys. Uh, a few words about spelling. Some words exchange F and FE into uh, VES in the plural, such as calf, calves, half, halves, leaf, leaves, shelf, shelves, thief, thieves. Knife, knives, life, lives, wife, wives. Um, most words, however, um, keep the F as in chiefs, safes, roofs, and scarves. There are some words that are spelled end with O that you add ES in the plural, such as potatoes, tomatoes, heroes, echoes, goes, uh, vetoes, and uh, negroes. But most words that end with O have the common S plural. That's in pianos, radios, and videos. You have a couple of irregular plurals, and these you just have to learn by heart, as in man, men, woman, women. Notice the pronunciation change. Child, children. Mouse, mice. Louse, lice. Foot, feet. Goose, geese. Tooth, teeth. We also have a few nouns that have zero plural, meaning uh, it doesn't change in the plural. Deer and sheep. Uh, you have fish, salmon, reindeer, and trout usually have the same singular and plural form. Uh, fishes, however, is used when you talk about different species or individuals. Um, for example, three small fish, but how many fish did you catch? Uh, zero plural, a uh, couple, when you have a noun after a numeral, uh, it, it stays the same. One dozen, five dozen. 100, 200, 1,000, 5,000, 1 million, 5 million. Note that you don't add the S even if it's uh, more than one. Uh, words that ha also have zero plural are uh, aircraft, spacecraft, dice, horsepower, quid, crossroads, headquarters, means, series, species. Also, uh, nationalities that end with E's and Swiss don't change in the plural, as a chi Chinese, many Chinese, Swiss, two Swiss, one Lebanese, uh, uh, two Lebanese, and Japanese. And then we have compound plurals in Swedish, sammansatt plural. In compounds that are created with numerals and nouns, the noun should be in singular, such as a two car family a few five dollar bills, a two engine plane, two thirteen page articles. Numerals and nouns are the same, a four day trip, ten man tent, many ten pound notes. Notice that you don't do anything with the numeral, um, you have plural in on the noun. More compound plurals, the plural plurals usually added to the last element. You have one babysitter, but two babysitters. Note that you don't say two babies sitters, because then you have two babies. Uh, with most compounds that, that have three elements, the first is in plural. One mother to be, or two mothers to be. With woman or man, meaning female or male, both elements are in plural. You have one woman officer, but two women officers, men students, and women writers. For in plural, meaning loan words, they often keep their rules from their own language, uh, meaning that uh, phenomenon, which is a Latin word in plural, is phenomena. Same with criterion, is in plural, criteria. Words that end with is get the suffix es in plural. An analysis, many analyses. A crisis, many crises. A diagnosis, many diagnoses. We have uh, some words that could be difficult to, f to know if they're uh, singular or plural, and those are known as uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are nouns that are not used in plurals. 
They usually represent an uncertain amount of different subjects, different phenomena and abstract ideas. The example of this is what terrible traffic. Many words are uncountable both in English and Swedish, as uh, window cleaning is hard work, for example. And in Swedish, indefinite article is used not in English. What bad luck. But then in Swedish we have en sådan otur. A few words that are plural in Swedish but singular in English. And these words in English are considered as a unit, while in Swedish they are regular nouns. You have advice, business, cash, evidence, homework, information, knowledge, money, news, progress and pollution. And the interesting with this is, of course, that you have to conjugate the verb in the singular form. You also need to learn how to recognize these uh, nouns. Remember then, when you use one of these words, remember that the verb should always be in singular form. For example, where is my money? The attribute, meaning the bestemningsud, uh, is always in singular. This money is yours. Use some if you want to um, give an example. I need some advice. And use it and not them when you refer to the word. Where is his money? It's there. When you talk about places, uh, some expressions that regard more than one person has plural in English but singular in Swedish. We changed places. They shook hands. I have, have to change trains. Note that the um, noun is in plural in English but in singular in Swedish. Then we have uncountable plurals, and when you want to stress the singular, you need to rephrase with a piece of, or a, a word. A piece of furniture, a piece of news, or a word, or a piece of advice. Some nouns mean one thing as uncountables, and another thing as countables. An example is our uh, work, meaning a work. Work or a work, sugar, a sugar, as you see the Swedish uh, explanation. Business or a business. Coffee meaning uh, an amount or a coffee meaning a cup of coffee. Paper a paper. Space a space. Sport a sport. So it's important that you think of which one do you mean when you write these words. Then we have some words that are always plural in English but singular in Swedish. And when you use these words you have to remember that the verb is in plural. Where are the police? The attribute is in plural, meaning those, these, and many. Those are my pajamas. And when you refer to the word, you have to use they. Where are the scissors? They are there. Then we have words in plural that are in plural, but they don't have the plural as, such as people, police, and cattle. Even if you have uh, no s on the noun, it's in plural. People, however, can mean both races and nations, and then you have to have the S plural. An example of this is, a history of the English-speaking peoples is a famous book. When you talk about a single group, then um, when you talk about the police, you treat it as a singular. An example is, the Metropolitan Police is linked with Interpol, then you talk about the specific group of police. Then we have some words that have different meaning in the singular and plural. And you have content in the singular and contents in the plural. Damage, damages. Look, looks. Firework, fireworks. Manner, manners. Moral, morals. And spirit, spirits. And you also need to learn the difference of these. Words uh, that end with X, such as aerobics, gymnastics, economics, politics, and statistics, is considered uh, as Singular when you talk about the subject, but plural when you talk about how you use it. Uh, for example, mathematics is her favorite subject, but his mathematics are weak. Statistics is important in modern society, but these statistics show that the inc an increase in serious crimes. In some cases, words in plural are considered as a unit, and they should then be treated as a singular. Uh, some names, the United States, the United Nations, and the Netherlands. The UN is an organization of independent states. And where's that 40 pound I lent you? And fish and ship has gone up. Uh, measurements, when you talk, think about the amount and not the single object, as in four hours is a long time to wait. 
We have collective nouns. Uh, they mark a group. They're different from other nouns since they're singular forms, also can be followed by a verb in plural. Uh, when you talk about family as a unit, you talk about it in singular, but when you talk about the family members, you use plural. In American English, however, uh, you often have the verb in singular, even if you talk about the family members. For example, the family was French, and then you can have both the family was having dinner or were having dinner. The jury was absent for three hours, or the jury were absent for three hours. Same thing with audience and public. Now, take a few moments to translate these uh, sentences. You could p put the film on pause if you need more time. And here are the answers. The woman, the man, the woman, and the child. Men, women, and children. A bad tooth, bad teeth, dirty feet, oxen, calves, and sheep. Two loaves on the shelf. A, ni a thief with a knife. Two thieves with knives, and two Englishmen and three Germans. And that ends this lecture about the plurals.